All right, today I'm on the roof of a 2023 Unity, and I'm going to be putting a soft start RV on a Truma. As I said, this is a 2023 Leisure Travel Van Unity, um, and so uh, I'm going to get started on the uh, soft start addition to the Truma Aventa air conditioner. The main reason you want to install a soft start on your uh, air conditioner, whatever you have, Truma, Dometic, Atmos, whatever kind of uh, air conditioner you have with your uh, leisure travel van, because the soft start uh, actually reduces the amount of amperage it takes to start the compressor. So that makes it easier for uh, shore power to run it, for your generator to run the air conditioner, for um, batteries and inverter to run the air conditioner. Um, it, it basically makes it to where you can run it off of a, a 15 amp outlet uh, and if you want to use your inverter battery charger and get some battery charging at the same time you're running your air conditioner you can run it off as low as a 20 amp shore power breaker so it's really uh, adding a soft start to your air conditioner really gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of um, uh, how you can how what power sources you can use to run your air conditioner. So uh, if you install a soft start on your Dometic, then you'll be able to run it on as low as a 20 amp uh, shore power um, outlet. And for um, the newer air conditioners like uh, this Truma or the Atmos, you can even run it on a, you can run those on a 15 amp uh, shore power outlet. So uh, adding a soft start really uh, gives you a lot of flexibility for any for you to run it off of any power source um, so it, it is a good idea to install one all right every soft start RV comes with the soft start RV uh, device a pair of wire strippers and uh, these little connectors and uh, zip ties and a little strain relief, you know, basically everything, screws, everything you might need to install it. So one of the first things I want to do is I want to look at the, um, I'm installing this soft start today on a Truma, on a Leisure Travel Van 2023 Unity Truma Aventa air conditioner. So the first thing I want, I did was download the installation instructions and what I want to do is I want to look see it tells you whether you need a female or a male connector for every wire and so according to this I need one two three four five so I need all female oh no uh -uh. okay so I need one female two males a female and a female. So I need three females and two males connected to the actual wires of the soft start RV. So um, let's get on with uh, doing that. I'm just going to take each one of these red wires and I'm going to cut off some strands because it's too long and I'm going to put the corresponding connector on. In this case, for the Truma, you put a female on the red wire. And then you crimp it. And you pull on your crimp, make sure you got a good crimp. Okay, so then the next color is brown. And brown gets a male. Then the next color is blue, and blue gets a male. And then the next 
next color is black. And black gets a female. And then the last color is yellow. And then I guess I didn't get. And then the yellow gets a female. So it's best if you basically take care of the crimping and putting the connectors on before you get up on the roof. Okay, so I've got my correct uh, connectors on, two males and three females, just like the instructions um, told me, and now we'll see what we run into when we get on the roof. First thing we need to do is remove these Torx head screws. Um, so there are two, four, six. Now, this will be my first truma, so I'm going to have to take a little time, make sure. I'm not sure what's under this, this little cap, but they've put Dicor or something on it. Okay, so I'll get my tools and get started. Okay, under these little pieces of Dicor on these corners is another screw. I'm not sure why they covered these front corners with a Dicor spot, but anyway, I've got to remove that so I can get those screws out. Okay, and then this, this top should just pry off. Okay, so there's that. Okay. So here's what it looks like down in the front, and then there's the fan, that's the compressor. So I'm going to put the soft start RV right in here and run its wires around here and over there to where that, uh, to this rubber, or this piece of foam and um, uh, make the connection. So I've got to remove this one, I think it should just remove this one screw to open up this control box. Um, so I'll get on with that. Okay, I, also, I think I need to cut right here. So let me investigate. I've got more screws evidently to take off because this isn't just lifting off. I see one down there. So let me figure out how to get the cover off. Okay, so this actually lifts up and there's a screw on this side and, and a screw on, around on that side. Uh, and then once you take out three screws, so this screw, this screw, and the screw around the corner here, and this just lifts off. And then you reveal all your connectors. Okay, so I stuck the soft start RV right here in this nice little corner. Uh, I cleaned the area off good and make sure you press it down so it's not going to come off 
and um, okay like I said I'm gonna route my wires over there and that's where I'll be making all the connections so I'll be putting some zip ties on this uh, and getting this all squared away and then I'll get on with my connections all right so there's my zip ties now I'm gonna go over on that end and see about making my connections okay I've got to cut these little zip ties here this is the capacitor so I've got to have free up some space so I can pull this cap off of here and let the wires pull through so I have room to work so I'll do that okay so you just uh, feed the wires through the hole so you get enough slack to be able to work here on these capacitor terminals so the very first uh, connection we're going to start with is the red wire from red wire from the RV soft start. Okay, so it says to unplug this red wire right here. Unplug it. Okay, so we're going to unplug this red wire right here. Then we're going to plug the red wire from the soft start onto the terminal that uh, is free once I unplug the red wire. And then I'm going to take the soft start brown wire and plug it into this red wire connector. So I'll do that and come back and show you. Okay, so you can see the brown and the red are hooked together. And the red soft start wire is on the terminal that I unplugged the Truma red wire from. Okay, now the next one we're going to deal with is the blue wire. So, uh, the blue wire from the soft start. Alright, the blue wire from the soft start. What we're going to do there is we're going to unplug this blue wire on the C terminal of the um, capacitor. So I'm going to unplug this blue wire and I'm going to plug it in to the blue soft start wire. So I'll do that and come back. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap that with electrical tape. All right, so this is done and out of the way. All right, so then the next connection we're making is the blue wire. Oh, no, so we've done the blue wire. Okay, now the black wire, the black soft start wire. It actually plugs right back on to that terminal that we removed the blue wire from. So I've got to thread the black wire in through this cap so I can plug it into that terminal. So I'll do that and come back. All right, so I ran the black wire in there and put it back on that terminal. Okay, so the very last wire that we have left to deal with is the yellow. And the yellow come gets threaded into this cap and gets put on um let's see herm okay it gets put on that terminal you can see it says herm so it gets put on the terminal there in this little white cap area i'll be back Okay, I actually found that uh, the connector will not fit in the hole. There's just too many wires. So I had to cut the connector off so I could push the yellow wire through and I'll reattach a female connector um, to put on that uh, Herm terminal. All right, so there I put the yellow on that terminal. Oh, I didn't put it on this one because it's so close. I'd rather, I wanted it to have a full seat down. All right, so now I can pull this cap around 
and put it back over like it's supposed to be. And then now I just need to tidy up my wiring and I will be done. So I'll do that and come back and show you. You just want to uh, wiggle the wires through the hole and keep moving the cap till it is fully seated on top of the capacitor. All right, so I got the cap fully seated on here. All right, so now I got to clean up these wires and put some zip ties around and I will be done with the installation, but I'll come back and show you that. All right, I also taped up where I put the red wire and the brown wire together. So I am going to continue to tidy around here, but I'm probably going to put the silver cover back on because I want to make sure I want to make sure I get my wires out in the cutouts so nothing's pinched. So I'll keep moving with this. All right, so there we have it. Got my wires zip tied. I've got my cap on for my capacitor. I've got all the wires pulled down over here and it all fits back the way it's supposed to. So now I will reinstall the screw that was here, here, and over around this corner and I will be done and ready to test it. All right, you can turn it on. Okay, we're starting it up. looking for these little lights. It says it takes three to four minutes um, for the green light to come on. So I'm just waiting for the soft start lights to show up. It sounds like the fan is just running on the trailer. And there we go. The compressor just kicked on. And I have a solid green light. Even though it's flashing green in the video, it's actually solid green. And that solid green means it's been connected correctly. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to put the cover back on while this is running. Uh, and Truma, or um, uh, Soft Start RV says to basically turn the temperature on the thermostat down to an ambient temperature um, you know like around what the outside temperature is so it the air conditioner will actually cycle on and off it needs to do that to go through a learning process and so uh, you let it run for a half an hour like that and then um, it's all set up so I will get the cover back on and show you all right, I have the interior foam cap back on with its two screws. And now I have this cover back on with its eight screws. And when I get these two front screws put back in, I will squish the die core back over them. So I'm all done. I'm just going to put these screws down. And uh, the Truma Soft Start installation project is completed. Uh, adding a soft start really uh, gives you a lot of flexibility for any for you to run it off of any power source um, so it, it is a good idea to install one